second spot. Can he and Mike Wallace get by the 18 car? And I guess one thing that Jimmy Elledge was not kidding about is that his car is very good. Well, look good yesterday in happy hour. He went from the back to the front. He was in every single lane. New leader, Bobby Hamilton. If he can just make it around to the line. Caution, there's debris on the racetrack. They're coming to the yellow flag. Second one of the race. Oh, round is causing his out. Debris, somewhere. <laughs> And they'll race back to this yellow. There it is. Piece of metal or something off one of the cars. Oh, that's... That's below the out of bounds. Well, somebody might have hit it from uh, where it originally be. landed on the racetrack and knocked it down. Just off a of turn two, that is. Yep. I think they'll never get in line to figure out... Who's going to, what position are going to make their pit stops? Probably not. Oh, they'll come down pit road two or three wide. Oh, exactly. Now, pit stops will be with 57 laps to go. That'll make things interesting. Was that many? 67? 57. 57. 57. Yeah. Some, some cars can make it. Yeah. And, and a lot can. Yeah, you are right. So, would you stay out an extra lap or two, come in right at the end, get fuel? You know what that was? That was that lower molding they use on the bottom of the front air dams the on the cars. Yeah. Yep. The lower front air dam skirt is now missing from half of somebody's car. And that will make that car not handle too well. And that was in the tri-oval, by the way. Okay. That was out here on the front side. So, that was the correct piece of debris for the caution. We had the wrong debris. Road is open. Two tires at four. Got to get it full of fuel. I think that if you've got to stop again, you'll change four tires. If you're going to make it the rest of the way, you'll probably change four tires. So I expect to see most cars change four tires. Critical pit stops. Dave Burns. And, of course, giving up second place now is Mike Wallace. They removed Tearaway to give Mike better vision. He needs all he can get. Running up front as he has been all day. They're going to change four tires, get fuel, and send him on his way. Bill. Well, Bobby Hamilton is in. They'll tear away their windshield plastic coating and give him four tires and fuel. They'll be very close on getting to the end. Party. Jeff Gordon trying to make it six straight years with a restrictor plate win. They are a little bit loose, but better than they've been all day long. Half a round of wedge into the left side. This will put them one lap short of being able to make it all the way on fuel. They'll need some help with some cautions. To Matt Yoakum. No adjustments for Sterling Marlin. Just four tires, and they pack the fuel. So full of fuel, but Sterling will have to stop again. Lee McCall told me they are six laps shy from their estimates of making it to the distance. So four tires in the top off of the fuel tank, but if the caution doesn't wave again, so people are going to not have enough gasoline to get to the checkers. Back at Talladega, still under caution. Here's our NASCAR Bush Series update. Kevin Harvick leading Jeff Green and Jason Keller in the championship. Four races to go. Phoenix next Saturday. You'll see it on TNT. Craftsman Truck Series update. What a championship race they've got going. 108 points between the top three. Only 200 to fifth place Ted Musgrave. And two races remaining in the Truck Series season. Back to Talladega after this. Back at Talladega Super Speedway, getting ready to go back racing in the AA Sports 500 on NBC, presented by Dodge. A round of pit stops brings Dale Earnhardt Jr. back to the point, but people's ability to make it to the checkered flag on the fuel they just took on is very much in question. And there's going to be several cars that can make it the rest of the way, and several that can't. So the guys that can't, they really need another caution flag to get that extra fuel. And the guys that can are going to wait the last second to come in. Right before they go green, they'll come down pit lane and top it off and get every drop of fuel in it. Well, we're already on the one-to-go signal, so that opportunity's gone. Got Dale it. Jarrett stayed out for a couple extra laps to lead and collect five bonus points, then topped off his fuel. So he's got a couple more laps, caution flag laps, of gas than everybody else. Else. 
but the Jack Roush cars, and again, the guys in the pits during the commercial break said they believe that the Jack Roush cars, the 6, 17, 99, can make it. What about it, guys? Are they still saying, can they make it, Marty? Well, the 17, Benny told me they can make it all the way on fuel. I talked to Dale Earnhardt Jr. They're just close enough where they will not take a risk as of right now going all the way on fuel. But his teammate Michael Waltrip will take that chance of taking the risk to go all the way on fuel. To Bill Weber. Well, talking about DEI, let's start with the one car. They say they can make it. They will go for it and try to reach the finish. The 55 of Bobby Hamilton cannot make it, but the six car of Mark Martin can. The green is back out, guys. Mike Wallace has been great on restarts. He's getting into that 12 car. He jumps to the outside of Bobby Labonte back there for fourth. But Mike Wallace is on the outside, but he has no one to go with him. And we see Jeff Gordon pulls up behind Bobby Labonte and leaves Mike Wallace a 12 car in the dust. But now Kenny Wallace, his brother, the one car, pulls up behind the 12. That will help his progress. 53 laps to go. Dale Earnhardt Jr. leads. Bobby Hamilton is second. The 97 and 29 cars are not on the lead lap. Harvick and Bush are in 31st and 32nd. The first car is one lap down. Also in that mix among those cars, Jerry Nadu in the 25. He is in 36th place, four laps down. After they had a broken shock earlier in the race. Jeff Gordon. For third, make it fourth spot on Mike Wallace. Thirteen different drivers have led today. Jeff Gordon is not one of them. Let's finish our discussion of pitch strategy and who can make it and who can't. Dave Burns, how about your end? The 18 car of Bobby Labonte, the lap before the caution came out, they reached their pit window. So they are good to go. Guess which other window they caught? The left front tire with a hole in it window. They found that out after he came on pit road, so they were really glad they got that caution. As for the 12 car of Mike Wallace, he can make it all the way as well. Matt? Dale Jarrett did not pit with the leaders. He waited one extra lap so he could lead a lap. And then he came back into their four tires and fuel. His Fuji Todd Kerr said he feels like they can go the distance, but he told his driver to go into fuel conservation mode. It will be close. Meanwhile, Johnny Benson, they are very iffy if they can go. They are minus or plus one lap or two laps, but they did come back in, put a piece of tape on the grill, and put some more water in that 10 car and topped it off with fuel just in case. Alan? So it appears that a lot of the cars think they can make it. The one notable who can't right now is the second place runner, Bobby Hamilton. You know, but what's going to happen is with a lap or two to go, when these cars are really closed up and bumper to bumper, somebody's going to run out of gasoline. And that's when you're going to have a big, big problem. And all of this, of course, if we get no caution flag between here and the finish. We got three Wallace brothers running right together. The one, Kenny Wallace. The two, Rusty Wallace. And the 12, Mike Wallace. Rusty still in the hunt for that million dollar bonus. This is from Michael Waltrip's car. Hey, that napper machine has been strong all day, too. Outside for the lead, Bobby Hamilton on Dale Jr. needs to be sitting to try to get a lap back but I'll guarantee you those cars behind them are probably yelling to their spotters they'd rather him not be there Hamilton with a half of the nose out in front at the start finish line leads that lap by three one hundredths of a second he led that lap Still working on that fuel calculation down in Dale Jr.'s pit? They are still working, Alan. And here's the quandary for Dale Earnhardt Jr. His car is best when it's out front. But when he's out front, they turn more, more RPMs. The more RPMs he turns, the more fuel he uses, and the less likely it is they can make it all the way. But they are definitely going to try and go all the way. That is Jeff Clark, the engine man for Dale Earnhardt Jr. They are calculating and recalculating. They are going to go for it, but they still come up that they will be one lap short. Alan, you'd have a hard time. 
time down there. <laughs> I don't know where you guys come up with this thing about me, me having a hard time with math. We'd be running out of gas. Yeah. Five laps. Five laps have. to go. Yes, sir. You'd be lucky to make it to the finish because you'd hit something by then. Yeah. Did you You're see? Right. And the way you drove at the go-kart track last night, you would. Did you see Michael Waltrip? As soon as he had the chance, dive in behind his teammate Dale Earnhardt Jr. The eight car. These two guys are going to try to do exactly what they did in the Pepsi 400 in Daytona. I was thinking that was kind of a quandary for Michael when he got up there behind Hamilton and was pushing him up, up to the side of Junior. There's a seven car, Kevin LePage. He's back in the 15th position. Hart Jr. and Rusty Wallace, two of the five drivers eligible for the million-dollar bonus, running in the first four positions. Five-story tall.